Good morning, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva. Have you ever woke up and wished that you could just sleep in for today and not have to worry about getting up, getting the kids ready for school, fixing breakfast, um, also getting out into traffic, trying to get to work, stopping, getting your fuel, uh, rushing, trying to make it to work on time. Do you ever wish that you could just stay at home and complete your work from the comforts of your house? Uh, maybe just waking up and getting yourself together and just sitting at home, signing in and working for yourself. If you ever wanted to do that, okay, I have the perfect opportunity for you. You can wake up, set up your own office from at home. You don't have to spend any gas. You don't have to commute to work. You can stay right there, log in, work for a Fortune 500 company from the comforts of your own home. If you are interested in doing that, Stick with me so I can tell you about my experience from working at home, okay? I'll be right back with you as soon as I get myself together. Good afternoon, fam. I'm back. It's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker. And the question that I was asked was, what was my experience from working at home when I worked at home before I got into trucking, okay? So I want to let y'all, give y'all a little bit of history about me working at home and what my experience was. When I did it, I was not uh, my own boss. I, I worked for a company, okay? And uh, the company that I worked for was called Assurion. And I applied for it. You got to take a lot of tests to pass it. And you go to training for, um, I want to say a, a couple of weeks you go through training, okay? And then you test out to be on the phone. What Assurion basically was, was uh, replacing the cell phones for your top companies like AT&T, Verizon, um, uh, those companies, okay? And customer called in, they either lost a phone, it was either stolen or um, um, uh, damaged, okay? Those were the only three, the three reasons that people called me, okay? And I had, at the time, a set schedule. So, um, they put you on a list, uh, a time of when you had to work. So, if your shift was 11 to 7, you had to work 11 to 7, okay? You could not get off that phone until your shift was over with, okay? You was required to work 8 hours a day, 2 days off, and, uh, you know, your check was direct deposited into your bank account. You got paid every 2 weeks. And, um, you know, you was an employee, so you had to uh, adhere like an employee, okay? Uh, so they told you what to do. They gave you feedback. They gave you, um, it was a lot. But, um, you know, I liked, I had a noise cancellation headset, so I could have my TV in the background. I can be cooking. I would be cooking, taking my phone calls. Um, cleaning up doing what i had to do around the house i was home for my kids for when my kids came home from school i was there um i took a 30 minute break just like anybody else at at home i mean at work but i didn't have to go anywhere i didn't have to fight traffic i didn't have to get uh fuel i didn't have to do any of that and uh, that experience let me know right there i would never go back to like an office environment Whatever I can do at home, I am going to do from the comfort of my house, okay? Now, the, uh, the cons about working at home is sometimes you get a little lazy, okay? So you got to think of it as, you know, you still going into the office. You still have to have that mindset. Like, I will have a shift from 11 to 7. And at um, five o'clock, I'll be like, you know, I gotta, I gotta do something. I gotta whatever, you know. But um, you still have to have that mindset of getting up, uh, going. I used to have, I used to put um, 
Y'all, I used to put a mirror in front of me, okay? So when I talked on the phone, I looked at the mirror because I wanted to make sure that I was coming across um, helpful, uh, courteous, and um, friendly, and um, was able to resolve the issue, okay? So um, the thing that I did like about uh, working at, at, at for uh, uh, Asurion was that they sent gifts all the time. Like they would surprise you with calculators. They would surprise you with gift certificates. They would surprise you with all kinds of uh, things. Um, and everybody was virtual. Like, you know, the uh, vice president or the director or anybody that one of your supervisors, anybody that was over you also work from home as well so you would you know if you had to do a conference call with them they would be in a t-shirt and you know whatever and y'all would be taking care of the call and taking care of the uh, meeting okay they made it so fun and exciting and i love that job it gave me benefits so i was able to have medical dental all that kind of stuff they gave me the benefits and um and I really liked it. I really liked it. So when I came across this opportunity uh, to show other people and my idea, let me tell you where I got the idea from, okay? Uh, being out here in the trucking industry, um, there's a lot, I mean, we're like 7% females out here. Most of the uh, truckers out here are males, okay? And we're talking to a lot of men out here, you know, some, you know, they don't, sometimes they don't want their wife to work. They want their wife to be at home. They want their wife to take care of the uh, uh, kids because, um, because they're out here on the road. So they don't want the other half to be out there working too. You know, now you got two parents are gone from the children's life. Okay. So they really, you know, they out here working hard and they want, a lot of them want their spouses to be able to stay at home and take care of the kids and things like that. Not only that, you know, you have people right now that are in school. You have people that lost their jobs. You have uh, uh, people that are right now on unemployment. And the thing about going that I found going looking for a job, you know, you have to compete with other people. You're not the only person that that's applying for the job. I would go and apply for a job to go work at and they would have to call me back because they was always looking at other applicants, okay? So you wasn't, they may have one position open, but you got 20 people applying for this one position, okay? Um, so it, it, it got to be kind of stressful not getting a call back, not getting hired, um, you know, not meeting the certain qualifications that they want to meet, you know, and, um, and I thought that this would be a way that it was really uh, geared towards, you know, women. So women, cause I'm all about females. I'm all about women. It's, it was geared for women to have an option to be able to, if they had a child, if they, you know, whatever the case may be, um, that they need to be home during a certain period of time, that they can do that and make a decent income uh, at home. Are you making, you know, $20 an hour, $20, $30 an hour? No, you're making anywhere between $10, 16 18 There are some um, bonuses that they have, so the incentive is there for you to make more money. But... The thing is, you are no longer an employee. Y'all got to get out of that mindset if you want to have your own call center. You got to get out the mindset of you working for somebody else, okay? Um, I am uh, an independent operator. I lease this truck. I have expenses with this truck. I have a, a truck note of $412 uh, a week. I have to pay for my fuel. I have to do a lot of things. Uh, that I pay out of pocket, okay, because I am a business owner. 
you being a business owner are going to have some fees associated with that okay um you are going to have to pay for the client that you want to work for y'all these clients are amazing clients i mean cruise ship uh rental cars uh theme parks um pharmacies um health care utility bills any time that you picked up the phone and call a customer service representative to help you with something over the phone these are where the people are working from okay um if you ever rented a car this is where the people are working from they are answering their phones at home they're not you know a lot of them are not the cable company they're not in call centers uh, where there's a whole lot of other people around them a lot of them work out the comfort of their home out their house okay now with your own business you got to be trained for these clients these are not just um, uh, every day you could just pick up the phone and say you know hey what's up you got to be trained to work for these people. They want you to answer the phone a certain way. They want you to treat their customers a certain way, okay? So you got to train for that and learn what to ask. Make sure that you are listening to them. Uh, make sure you are handling their needs. Make sure that, you know, when they give you that rating that you gave them a five-star uh, service okay that they get a five-star rating is very important to them um, and you have to invest in yourself a lot of people say that they want to own a business they want to be an entrepreneur they want to they don't want nobody telling them what to do they want to make their own hours but you got to be willing to invest in yourself okay the rewards will come you invest in yourself I invested in myself by going to truck school I sacrificed by not even getting a check while I was going through training okay I didn't get a check until I actually got on a truck with a trainer okay so the time that I was getting my permit I did not get paid for the time that I was out there backing up that truck on the um on the uh on the uh, driving range i did not get paid it was an investment okay my tuition was what four thousand dollars i did not want to pay that back so i stayed at the company that i was with for uh a year okay that was the sacrifice that i made because they gave me the opportunity to be successful and get out here and make over a hundred thousand dollars a year okay and it was a small sacrifice to be able to do that and uh, when i look back on it i wish i would have done it a lot earlier so if you're sitting at home and you're saying well i can't um, I'm not able, I don't want to pay the $29 or the $19. I'm telling y'all, you do not have to go. There's there's courses and clients on there that is $99. There's one on there that's $249, okay? Um, the prices fluctuate daily. The clients change daily, okay? I don't, I wouldn't recommend going after uh, if you're just starting off going after that $129 client or that $249 client, okay? They are serious about their training, okay? Um, have a small investment. Right now, you're not paying for a background check. So if you want to go in there and you want to sign up and just see what it is, I'm going to approve you. Uh, a lot of y'all have not signed your documents, okay? Don't forget to go back in there, sign your documents so y'all will be ready for class. Uh, there is a class starting next week, November, I think it's the first week of November. The class is $29, okay? Invest in yourself, okay? At the end of the year, if you're going to be an entrepreneur, if you're going to work for your own company, if you're going to build your business, you got to be willing to invest in yourself, okay? Um and 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 don't overwhelm yourself you know once you get through with the training 
get comfortable that's why i tell you to join the platform that i have right now in place why i can help you with your passwords i can help you if you're having maybe uh computer problems okay i can help you if um you know you're nervous and 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 afraid to talk to people over the phone i can help you through all of all of that and then later on once you get comfortable you got your first client under your belt and you're like wow you know i really like this this is amazing once you do that and you say you know what miss tamara i want to build my own call center i want to have people that come and join me Miss Sarah is going to be more than willing to help you do that, okay? Right now, I have, I think, anywhere between 15, 20 people right now, okay? And they all signing in. I don't tell them what to do. I don't tell them what class to take. I don't tell them nothing, okay? The only thing that I'm there for is to be a support system uh, to them, okay? What is your investment? Your investment is going to be the cost of the class. Your investment is going to be if you have to go get a headset, uh, if you have to, some companies uh, make you take a drug test, okay? Uh, you may have to uh, do an affidavit like a notary. So whatever the notary costs of your ID and send it into that company so they know that you are who you are. Um, your investment is going to be my assessment fee. It's $39.99. 90, 90, $39.95, okay? $39.99, I think it is. $19.99 doesn't even go to me. That goes to uh, Arise uh, for having a contract to give us the opportunity to work with these companies because I don't know about you, but if you ever went and tried to apply for these type companies um, that they have, it's not easy getting a job, okay? So uh, with this platform, you're guaranteed a job Long, you're guaranteed the contract long as you pass their uh, standards, okay? You're guaranteed. As long as you pass the test, you're guaranteed to uh, be placed with them, okay? And that's a huge opportunity. You can put that experience under your belt, okay? Working for these companies, people are going to look look at you servicing these clients people are going to look at you like wow she got the top people that she had as her business clients okay so um and you can build your own okay but right now if you don't know anything about it sign up go ahead complete your paperwork so you can see the jobs in there you may not see something in there right now that you that appeals to you that you think that you may want to do but uh, go ahead and get all the information in there because when that job do come available you will be able to um, Jump on it and schedule your training and get that going. Okay um, now I'm not going to babysit you. Y'all are self-employed. Y'all are entrepreneurs. I'm not going to babysit you if you need my advice or need some suggestions on you know what I think as far as the client is concerned, I will go over that information with you, okay? But, you know, these are basic, these are customer service positions. Just learning the system and answering people's needs, scheduling reservations, uh, putting people in, uh, uh, scheduling their trips for when they're going on a cruise, upgrading them, um, helping people that stuck out on the road. So, it's a lot of, of different opportunities in there. Take advantage of that, okay? Take advantage of that. I have got this available for everybody. I'm not going to say, no, you are not approved. You not approved. No, you don't know how to talk. This, I'm not doing that. I'm letting you sign up yourself, go through it yourself, everybody. And if this, and if y'all are looking at this, and the opportunity is not for you send it to the person that the opportunity is for okay because everybody out there knows somebody that wants to work at home okay everybody knows somebody that wants to work at home okay so i was just thinking about women but it's open to everybody i don't care if you a woman a man whatever the case if this opportunity suits you and you think that this is something that you will be interested in, go to www.arise.com 
put in my IBO ID, which is 91736. If you have questions besides the videos that I've been giving y'all, okay, if you have any questions, you can call me on my toll free number 800 620 9235. Okay, um, 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 I will answer any questions that you may have, um, but I'm only looking for people that want to work for themselves. I'm only looking for entrepreneurs. If y'all looking for a job, this is not the place for you. These are people that want to sign in when they want to sign in, work when they want to work, um, and, they're, and they're going to handle their business. Okay, you want to be a boss, act like a boss, look like like a boss talk like a boss and be a boss okay and this will give but other than that y'all i am uh signing out i'm getting ready to get on the road i got some other clients that i'm taking care of as far as driving recruiting um y'all i got over 10 people that i'm helping right now so you know don't hesitate to give me a call it's going to uh take me a minute to find the um um what you may be interested interested in but um just let me know what you want okay i'm putting people in school people that's been um out of the industry i'm getting them back in and people that's not happy where they are i'm putting you at a new location okay so uh i did not expect all this but thank you so much i love y'all i will always be humble and i will always be appreciative of all the business that you send my way of all the people that you recommend to me of all i mean y'all are just sharing y'all are just really doing your thing and i really appreciate that okay so i will talk to y'all later peace love joy and happiness and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day bye